Hey everyone, it's Becky. Um, I just have my design team project for Craft Supplies 1 for the month of September to show you guys. Um, what I've done is altered a paintbrush. Um, I just kind of did it, I don't know, real, not real quick, but I seen this pin on Pinterest from Sassy Scrappers Bonnie um, that I actually repinned and I thought it was a cute idea because I have some other projects done that I can't show you guys because they're for a swap and I don't want the person to see them because I don't want her to figure out that it's for her so and I know that she'll know it's for her if I show them so um, hopefully within the next week I will be showing them but in the meantime I just made this paintbrush for um, a project a design team project so um, my husband is a painter and so I just kind of um, took one of his brushes that he had um, for his job and I altered it. Um, what I did was the first thing that I did is I just gessoed it um, just to cover up like the labels and stuff on the, the handle and then I kind of gessoed a little bit the, the bristles um, because I wanted you know for them to be stiff and so and so that I could color them a little bit better so I kind of gessoed here and there not like all of them I didn't dip it or anything and then just a little bit um, underneath, I don't know if you, it's going to pick it up. They're, the bristles were kind of like a purplish brownish and then it had white tips. So it's a little bit of a larger paintbrush, but it was really fun to alter. Um, and then I painted just so the, the metal, you know, that holds the bristles in. And then um, what I was trying to do was I was trying to crackle it. And um, the first color that I did was this um, petal pink. And it's kind of like a really bright color. And it's like really vibrant. So, and I didn't, I don't know, I was a little skeptical. So I went ahead and put the Elmer's glue over it and it actually didn't even work out. Um, the top color that I used was this parchment and um, let me see if I can bring that in just a little bit better. And so I went over it with the parchment and it didn't really crackle. It did just like a little bit, if you can see right there. So I took a sand, my sander and just kind of sanded it a little bit. And then I went over it with vintage photo um, just on the sides and it was really dark. Um, so then um, I kind of toned it down and sanded it a little bit again, and then um, I've taken some gesso and went over it. And um, I also heat set it. Sorry, I skipped a step. Um, before I um, put the vintage photo on, I heat set, tried to heat set it to see if I could get it to crackle more. And um, it actually bubbled up. You can see it more on the back, and it, you know. You, Probably all seen it, you know, when your paint bubbles from heat setting it. So it kind of gave it this cool effect. So I just kind of left it and I went over it with gesso. And um, I kind of went over it a little bit with um, some chalk ink. Um, the pastel, or no, sorry, the old rose and the, just a little bit of the white. And so, I don't know, that you can see the vintage photo right there and some of the gesso and some of the parchment. So I thought the handle turned out really cool and I also did it um, on the metal, the same colors. And then, um, the, and, um, sorry, the bristles, what I did was, um, after I gessoed it, I um, took a little bit of this a little bit of this paint, the petal pink, just a tiny bit, and then a little bit of this Victorian velvet. And then um, I went back over it with gesso just to kind of tone it down. And because I kind of wanted like different shades of pink. And then I sprayed it with, the first one I sprayed it with was this flat Fabio. And it's the Pink Ladies Pink. And then I sprayed it with the Cotton Candy Pink. And then um, I wanted just a little bit of blue and green, but you can't, like, it's just a touch. You can't even really see it. Um, not really anymore, because <laughs> I kind of went over it and went over it. So, um, 
I used the frosted forget-me-nots and this my mojito green just you know my same old colors that I always use and um, you can kind of see it here and there I just touched it just lightly with the spray um, I didn't want a lot and then I went over it with these um, shimmers vibes and this is the snowstorm and that's what kind of I think brought out the white in it and so it's kind of just different colors of pink and then here in the middle I was trying to heat set it and it kind of scorched them but that's what makes it stand up I think so they're really stiff now and it'll stand up on its own but I also did a hanger so you can hang it for, from something um, and then what I did was I went over it or sorry I um, put these pearl strands from craft supplies one and these are the cream colored ones and I just glued them to the metal and so I just kind of did them um, here and there like every few inches I did one and that idea I got from the pin on Pinterest as well as how they did the lace kind of um, my the widest lace that I have from craft supplies one is like really wide it would have covered a lot of the paintbrush so I didn't want to cut it down because it would have took a lot of the detail away from the lace so I just used some of this wider lace from my stash and I glued it on and then you know I kind of just um, ruffled it or um, pleated it I guess and I would just fold it over so it kind of gave it this little ruffly look and then this little dangly lace um, it's just from my stash and I just stuck that under there because I like the way that it looked underneath the pink and then this pink lace is from craft supplies one and it's um, this and it's the ruffled and I really like the color um, but I did tone it down just a little like here and there not much but it kind of the white and the cream underneath it kind of tones it down too but I did put some gesso over it here and there and so um, I just did that all the way around and then this halfback pearl trim from Craft Supplies 1 I did on the top. And then I made this handmade flower for the center. Um, I put these um, larger pearl um, sprays underneath first on both sides. And then I did this handmade flower and I just made it out of cotton fabric and the doily and some of that eyelash trim and a rosette and then the center is um, the bling buttons from craft supplies one and these are the smaller ones and then there's a couple larger ones that come in the pack that you'll get and then so I glued that down and then I put just a couple I didn't want to overwhelm it so I just put one of these pink half inch flowers and then this calla lily the white smaller ones and I did that there and right here and then I wanted to put some more flowers but I didn't want to overwhelm it like I said so I just kind of tucked in these flowers from my stash like here and then there's one right there and then one underneath and I thought that was really cute so I just kind of left it like that and then um, I used uh, this little crown and I got that from Becky Long and it comes in that a pack of them the from Michaels um, and so I just cut the little hoop that's on top off and gessoed it and then um, <coughs> this butterfly is from craft supplies one and this is the white one and she's got like all different colors of butterflies so I'd go check her out because any project you're working on and you want a butterfly I'm pretty sure she's got the color that you want um, so I just put that there on the handle because I thought it kind of it fit really well and then here in the little um, holes, I put these little flowers from um, from my stash. It's actually off a of lace. I just cut them out and stuck them on both sides. And then this satin ribbon is from Becky Long from our swap. And so I just used that for a hanger. Um, the pin that I got this off of on Pinterest, they used um, seam binding, but I didn't have any more white. So I just used this silk and I think it was really cute. Um, oh, the other thing that I did was the, the wings, and these are just wings cut out of the Tim Holtz die. The, I don't remember the name of it, and I don't have it right here, but 
I'm sure everybody knows this, the Tim Holtz die. Um, and I went over it first with this Victorian Velvet Distress Paint. And then I was gonna try, well I tried it, but it didn't work. Um, the Elmer's glue, and then I put um, for my top layer this parchment with um, sand. And I was gonna try and crackle it with the sand, but it didn't. It didn't really work. But it did do like a kind of like a cool texture. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Um, and so that's, and it kind of only showed just a tiny bit of the pink through it. So what I did was um, went over it. The first thing that I did is I used these, um, this uh, sponge sugar dazzlers and it kind of picked up the color that was underneath it. So I just wanted a little bit more texture. So that I just kind of took my um, palette knife, you know, and just kind of dabbed it on there, on the top and stuff and all around. And then I took um, the old rose and the white and a pastel pink, and I just kind of hit it with the chalk edges, the Prima. And then I did the edges with Vintage Photo just to kind of get it to match the paintbrush. So I kind of, I really like the texture that it did. Um, I like the way that it turned out. Um, I think it's kind of shabby chic paintbrush. I, um, I really like the way that I almost didn't add the wings, but I, I like the way that it turned out, so I'm glad that I kept it. Oh, and um, here on the back, this trim, which is this one right here, um, I used some of it on my birdcage, and I put these larger halfback pearls in the middle, and so I still had some with the halfback pearls that I cut off, the excess, and so I just used a little piece of it and scrunched it in between the two wings. So. That's what I did. Um, so that's my project. And make sure you go check out Julie's shop because she has um, so many new things added all the time. And um, sh most everything that you need for a project, flower or charm or um, bling or um, like trims and stuff like this, anything that you want, she has it um, usually. And so make sure you go check her out. and. Um, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll post the link to the store as well. And I appreciate you guys walking, watching. And I'll talk to you guys later.